it's October, so I thought we need to talk about some uncomfortable things. Like death. Best introduction I can think of. <laughs> You're welcome. No, I thought I would talk a little bit of Best Love Joy's Rest in Pieces. This is actually a very interesting book that discusses a variety of famous dead bodies and what happened to them. Because it turns out even the dead don't always rest in peace, especially if the living don't let them. So this is not the usual type of book. It's not telling one consistent story. It is actually just going through, like I said, multiple accounts of what have happened to famous dead bodies. So overall, it's a little interesting, and it's certainly not for everybody. This is definitely one of those books that if you're really uncomfortable with death and dead bodies, you're probably not going to want to read the, this. Now it doesn't speculate on the afterlife in any way, it is literally just the physical, material afterlife of dead bodies whether they're being moved around, broken up into pieces, being stolen, being ransomed, being destroyed, things like that. But even that can make us really uncomfortable. Best Love Joy does a fantastic job in just talking about all of these moments of afterlife accidents uh, and horror stories with some good humor, the facts, all of those good things that do make it a little less uncomfortable if you're willing to laugh about the fact that dead bodies are sometimes really the focus of things. The book itself is divided up into several different sections with several famous people mentioned in each. So there's unsolved mysteries, bodies that have been used for political reasons, uh, bodies that have been studied, bodies that have been moved around due to someone's love and devotion, things like that. So there are plenty of different people considered in just overall from ancient past to the modern day. Like I said, Mozart's here, there's a Pope in here, Elvis is mentioned in here, things like that. So this really is an interesting book to take a look at just picture moments of the afterlife of bodies. Now, as always, it doesn't include everything. I was a little surprised when she didn't include a pope whose body was dug up and put on an actual real-life trial where the pope's dead body had somebody that had to pretend to listen to it and then repeat what the pope had said. So there are certainly holes here, but this is a lot of information I was not previously aware of. Nor does it always just look at full bodies. It does fully admit that bodies are often chopped up. So there are discussions of skulls, there are, trigger warning for you folks, discussions of male genitalia and what has happened to that, hearts, lungs, all the bits and pieces. So, overall, a very interesting read, especially for a month like Halloween. Though I do have some nitpicks. One, I am personally not a fan of the shape of the book. It is sort of meant to represent a coffin-like shape, but when reading it, it's just a real awkward size to hold, especially if you tend to read two-handed. One-handed is better, but it is thicker, so that can get tiring very quickly. But that's certainly a nitpick. And like I said, I do know of some stories that I'm a little surprised were left out. But if you want just snapshots of some of the history, they, that's the other thing to keep in mind. This is not a book that delves extensively into any of these piece, people. They are just short, little three-page discussions about what happened. So it really helps you get a sense of who you want to learn more about and what subjects you want to dive into without necessarily giving you full backstories and full stories. But I find it a very good supplement because a lot of 
reading I've been doing in the historic side of things tend to focus on people's lives. They don't always refer to what happened to the bodies after death, at least not in extensive detail. So being able to read about somebody and then come and find out what happened to their bodies is actually kind of nice to do. The artwork on both the front and on the chapter openings is always actually very fun because oftentimes the pictures that are put on the gravestones actually have reference to some funny point in the account itself. So it's actually quite enjoyable to read. My other piece of advice though with this one, maybe not in public. I will fully admit I read this one at work and that earned me a lot of weird looks. It made people happy afterwards when I moved on to something else, but this is actually the book they constantly refer back to. Oh, so you finished the weird book on the dead people, huh? That's this one. I know not an extensive review, but like I said, considering this is something like an anthology about very brief snapshots of dead bodies, it really is just going to be a quick little thing that you're picking up. You don't even have to read it for long periods of time. This can be something you just pick up, read one or two stories, and then put down to get involved in something else. So if you want to read it fully, it's relatively quick, not overly heavy on use of language or confusing terms. It is a straightforward book about death if that's something you're interested in. If it's not, avoid rest in pieces because Best Love Joy does not shy away from the fact that dead bodies are involved. Especially when it comes to the political chapters. She does tend to shy away from making overt political statements, but she does try and explain why these bodies are being revered the way they were. So that's an added uncomfortable notion, especially considering the embalming practices, the worship of body parts, and this isn't just true for the political representation. I mean, saints' body parts are well known throughout several religions. So things like that, it's going to start being that uncomfortable recognition of what we do to the dead and how we treat them. So overall, this book made me question some things not about the afterlife itself, but the afterlife of my body and exactly what I want to do with it. So maybe not something you want to be asking yourselves, but maybe something you're interested in reading about for October. Yeah, I got nothing else to say. It's a book on dead bodies. Have fun with it. I'm going to keep reading and I hope you do too. And hope you find something spooky for the Halloween season. Talk to you later.